Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thanks so much for watching my videos. I'm really happy that a lot of you are getting so much out of these videos. And uh, also, there's going to be a lot more to come. This year is like the year for a lot of people. And there's a lot this year. And what I want to talk to you about today is uh, especially the masculine. And I want to let you know that there's a lot to know about the masculine besides the fact that half the planet is men or boys or males. And they do exist. The masculine exists. He is here to be a part of, yes, the ascension, the shift, whatever you want to call it. Personal resurrection, personal um, embodiment of the divine. So what I want to talk to you about is transparency and especially the divine masculine transparency. And what about transparency? Well, we're seeing a lot of truths get exposed to the light. A lot of people are seeing truths exposed in their union. A lot of things that have been long ago and far away hidden stuff, and it could be stuff from your family, it could be personal habits, it could be living a double life type of thing, it could be people that uh, corruptions or pyramid schemes are suddenly exposed and there they are, they're out in the open. Now for anyone that looks at the media, whether it's social media or the news or anything like that, you're seeing a lot of explosions going on and there's a reason for it. There is a definite reason why it seems that, you know, people seem to be exploding all over the place. And this goes a lot deeper than just, well, people are resolving their karma or they're playing out karma. Uh, there, There's a lot going on here. So what I want to talk to you about is for the year of 2015, in terms of the Divine Masculine Energy, this started at the solstice in December. So December 21st will continue to uh, about June. Things will shift again. Things will take on much more of an acceleration. Things are speeding up. And you have the effect of some things winding down, you know, like a top. Like when you pull that top and it starts going wah, wah, wah. And other things are really speeding up. And for a lot of you, you've gotten really good at feeling the currents of energies. But these energies are more than just energies. Um, they are actually connected not only to your body, not only to your home, your community, your kids, um, connected to the planet. They're connected deep inside you. And I mean deep right at the molecular level. Now, a couple of things to really know is, uh, I'm going to backtrack here a little bit, because uh, for any of you that may be seeing my video for the first time, please know that they're very informational. A lot of them have built on each other from last year. I do my best to make them as entertaining as possible. However, there is good information, and I receive my information through my union, and I edit it. I make sure that it's it's as factual as I can be. Not good at math on the fly here, um, because I am leaving my file cabinet out of this, my file cabinet that's in my head. That's been gone for a long time. Anyways, what I want to tell you about has to do with um, the energies that are coming in. Now, a couple of videos ago, I, I showed this little thing. And here in the United States, a lot of people know this from being a child. We called it a fortune teller. And we would, you know, pick a number and then we'd do this and we would see. But to me, this felt like, whoa. We're pulling in all these energies. You're pulling everything in from the four corners of the universe. The divine masculine is pulling himself in from all of the directions of the universe. Any place that uh, has needed to be held up 
where you've had a foothold, whether it's a precious home to you. And a lot of you do feel identifications with other planets, other timelines. Other places in time, you've dreamt it, you remembered it, you had past life regressions, you had someone tell you, and this is uh, not only valid, it is actually, for Twin Flames, it is our history. Furthermore, for a lot of people, those connections are homes that you, um, you loved, and you're here on Earth to receive and to come back into oneness with your beloved. You're not crazy. I say that a lot in my videos, but the point is you're not crazy about the mental perceptions that you have about, uh, you know, when your knowingness is there, or the heart perceptions, rather. Okay? There is a struggle between the head and the heart. I should clarify that. And this is a large part of the struggle that, uh, the masculine hands, and when I say masculine, please know that I mean people who embody the masculine energies, the majority of which are men, but it can also be lesbian, gay, or trans people, and, and bisexual. I, I don't want to discriminate against anyone, but the point is there's two bodies here on earth. There's only two bodies you find yourselves within each other if you're a twin flame or a divine counterpart. For twin flames, that is who my videos are primarily for. Now, interestingly, right after I did that video, something came in the mail and it looked like this. And I love the red and the white here, but this was, this was to promote a charity. And this actually says on here, come one, come all right here. It's a charity. It was very symbolic of the kids. And the thing is, is that I felt like this was the universe directly responding to me, um, talking about pulling in all of the masculine energy from the four corners of the universe. And I say four corners, but it's actually multiple levels. You yourselves are multidimensional. You are able to perceive things from other levels, other timelines. It gets confusing because everything has picked up this accelerated pace and there's a lot of things collapsing right behind you and you're like, whoa, I got to get there. I don't know what thing to do first. I don't know what to do first. Okay. And so I thought this was a really, really interesting response. Um, the other things are that we're going to talk about is we just came through a portal and it, it started at about the end of the new moon. We were uh, coming up through the Venus energy, finished that, and now we've been uh, transiting all of the Mars energy. What's Mars? It is action, it's decision, it's taking actions. And this is important because a lot of you have been gathering in integrating parts of yourself, your spirit into the matter. It's going right, right into you. And what do you do with it though? How do you take actions that are necessary? And this is with that Mars energy that's coming in. So the masculine, it's, it's like the holder, part of the impetus for the electric side. And the feminine is you know, she's the sale. They can't, they can't move without each other, really. They're moving, on, a lot of you are moving on the currents of the universe, and that's okay. But in order to accelerate and be proactive, the universe will ask you to take actions at certain times. So the portal is open. Many people are feeling this, and especially feeling the wish of the very transparent divine masculine, and the non-light creations. Now, what does that mean? What is the divine masculine? Well, let me tell you this. A lot of you are feeling parts of your counterpart, parts of yourself that you're integrating that are masculine. These connect to places inside you. They're also connected out to places in the universe. And 
parts of possibly um, your family, your community. You are the one getting this into place. And the other non-like creations, some of these are just simply negative thoughts. They're thought forms, they're obsolete timelines. Um, you're wishing through this. So uh, if you feel energies as though you're going through a wind or a wind tunnel, or you're wishing through, you feel like you're going through fast water. These are many times how this feels. A lot of times what is happening is that um, you're the one staying still, but your body can still, your senses can perceive the movement. And things are on the move. It is not that nothing is moving. It's happening from several levels. It's happening as part of a groundswell. It's also happening from above. And this is some of the as above, so below that people have talked about. This is it in action. This is uh, the movement of the masculine aligning with the feminine. Now, um, one of the things I do want to touch on, and this is especially for men, Okay, you're, you're a man. You're living in the world of men. You're going to have certain amounts of negativity. You're going to have people that uh, don't get it, don't get you. You've had to have some things suppressed. You're also having some of uh, the emotional stuff leave your union. So if you have a sense of impending doom, a heart acceleration, blackouts, depression, and some people who are women... You can feel this too. You can feel it reflected by your counterpart. That feeling of desolation, impending doom, a sense that you're in trouble, that you've done something wrong, that you've done something deeply somehow wrong. These are low and negative emotions that you're passing through. They're not necessarily all personal. As a collective, we are releasing this. So it's like you're traveling through this fog and you're like, ooh, ugh. You know, ooh, icky, I, I got to get out of here. Some of it is downright painful, and it can feel like you're pummeled. Again, this is not crazy. Know what you know. Know what you know is the truth. And what is the truth? Tell yourself, you know, the masculine is here. The masculine is coming. The masculine is clearing out. They are... They're letting go. They're unyanking themselves from anything. You would cry too if you had to give up some of the things that you lovingly created. And a lot of people do. A lot of people feel a sense of grief or loss. And it's not always um, something that is very tangible. It's an emotion. It's a feeling. It is in your emotional uh, body. It is many times connected to the mental body, where the mind will tell you, well, this it's this reason, or it's because my job stinks, or it's because of this or that. It will, your mind will, your brain, your mind will try to find earthly reasons for this. And it's important to keep moving yourself forward. Now, I want to touch on something else. This is so important. Please, find your way to get rid of your anger. If you are angry, if you're angry at your counterpart, if you're angry at how long this is taking, believe me, I get it. I do understand that. I do talk to people. I've had my own upsets about how long this is seeming to take. I want to let you know, though, what that does energetically. And it could be anything from, I'm angry, okay, I'm going to go do this and go release it. And you find ways to elevate yourself and bring yourself up and out of it and not let it fester. For a lot of you, the good news is, especially for Twin Flames, especially for you Blu-ray Twin Flames, you can't hold it. It evaporates. You wind up crying. You wind up releasing it somehow. Okay, go with it. Go with it. The other thing to know, though, is if you are saying things, and this is really important, if you are telling your uh, twin to go to hell, guess what you just created? You've created hellish nights and situations for not just one of you, both of you. You get that boomerang effect. It comes right back. 
Any kind of argument or fighting, which some people call the power struggle, that internal power struggle, you're, you're still adjusting to each other. So you're not going to be able to, with any, uh, you know, ability to walk away from it, you're not going to be able to say these things. I told my twin to go blah, blah, blah themselves. I told my twin to go to you know where. I told them to get off. Now, it is important to recognize when you yourself are tired and to take yourself into a mode of allowing the love to ebb and flow. And I've talked to a lot of people around the world. I've been very blessed to meet so many lovely people from different places. Your twin, especially if he's a man, he wants you to trust him. He wants you to accept, not accept bad behaviors, accept that, yeah, there, there's things. There's things that need working on and to assist. Sometimes that assistance is going to be quietly. It's not going to be in their face. For some of you, it is actually going to be where um, you and your twin do he have to take a breather? That doesn't mean it's over. In fact, nothing is over. We're really only getting started. So if you thought last year was bumpy, and I'm going to say this, for a lot of women who took the time to get themselves prepared and you're saying, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, there's good news here. Take your breather now because the next part of this is coming. If, um, if you, you know, dilly-dallied on some things, start attending to it because there are, this year, you know, the energies are more conducive to it, but the time is more compressed. You're going to have a time crunch on some of this, which equals intensity. Now, for people that um, they are waiting, I, I do talk to a lot of people who are waiting or people who are adjusting. You're still adjusting to each other. You may have met your twin. Okay, please know that the levels that you're merged at are supporting you. That is your union. They're, don't let anyone talk you out of it. So you might say, okay, I'm, I'm taking a breather, but I'm not really done. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wind up with something on that in a little while. But I'm going to get to some of my other points here. So some of the things that... Um, some men uh, can experience, again, you know, pay attention here because you don't want these sensations in your union, whether they belong to your counterpart or, or you feel like you're feeling it for several days or something. Well, anytime we go through a portal, these kind of things get dredged up and out. And the, especially the impending doom or I'm in trouble, I did something wrong. That's a biggie, and a lot of people can feel it. The masculine children and these kids, they are getting ready to be a part of twin flame unions or divine counterpart relationships. Divine relationships. You're gearing up here to have divine relationships with everyone and everything. 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 Everything created. And now you're going to start creating more. And it doesn't always mean more children, okay? But I want to let you know that a lot of these kids, they are reincarnating. And so the they have reincarnated into a cycle now where they will be a part of a true love union. And I've said that before. Those kids, in order to be around your energies, are going to, prior to that, release their angers, their resentments that they've been holding, that soul damage for a really long time. You're going to see, you're going to see it come up. You're going to have people act out. You're going to have people that um, get sick. And it's up to you to be the divine parent and get those kids the help and assistance they need. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Pay attention. Whatever it takes. So it's a, if it's a combination of Swedish massage, Chinese medicine, Reiki, therapy, and vitamin supplements and an ice cream sundae, 
that's what you do. Whatever your gut is telling you, that's what you go with. You don't go with, you know, well, my grandmother always did this. My grandmother would make a nice little tonic out of alcohol and that would fix everything. No, uh-uh. It, it, it will uh, sometimes be because it, it is a uh, multi-dimensional aspect that they are releasing. And I was reminded of this. Okay, a lot of people who watch my videos happen to come from Europe, especially Northern Europe, United States, and Australia, and many other countries, South America, South Africa, India. I think we can all relate to this. I mean, what was the cost of the Industrial Revolution? And in some countries, this hasn't stopped. I was watching Oliver Twist on TV the other day. I just happened to like turn on uh, the television and here's these things on the TV. And what is it about? It's the film Oliver and the the workhouses, the poorhouses, the what essentially was slave labor by children. And I do know I'm not, you know unaware that this is going on still in other countries but a lot of people in the countries where we're about to blast this open and really get this thing going those kids those are the kids that helped get it going so we've we've always been paying it forward here and it's time now to get the healing and the proper release okay now the last time I'm the last thing I'm going to talk about uh, about the adult males. Now, adult males are here to be in their unions. Yes, they are. And what comes through a lot of the readings sometimes are their past lives. Many of them have had industrial type of lives or institutional lives, like workhouses, coal mines. Um, uh, sometimes even reform schools or dormitories or something where they they were deprived. They had poor nutrition, no education. They had military lives. They did not know the love of a good woman. They did not know love. They weren't properly nurtured. Now, you can say all you want about the patriarchy. Yes, this has gone on a really long time. Why? Because in order to do the upliftment, the divine masculine has had to literally embed himself in, get in there with the shovel, and really get going, and help create, help create institutions, the military, whatever we've needed. And yeah, it's gotten to the point of abuse and misuse. N no doubt about it. But it is also winding down and we're going into, there is no delineation between the stopping and the starting. It is a transition and you are in this transition. So the adult males, yes, they will know who they are and why they are here. They're knowing it. A lot of them knew as children and they suppressed it. They kept it down. They had visions. They tried to talk to someone. They got smacked for it. They got put in the corner. They were denied and validated. Okay. This has happened on both gender sides, the feminine and the masculine. But this video is particularly about the masculine because th this is what we're coming into now. So what we're coming up to this weekend, today is March 17th. So you have a solar eclipse across almost all of Europe. Don't think that that's not going to have an effect on things. It really will. We've already started now. And for a lot of you uh, Illumins and especially Illumin Blu-ray Twin Flames, in order to be in your union and where you're connected to, you're passing through some of this in advance. And there's a reason for it. It has more to do with where you're connected and you're not at ground level. For people at ground level, and, and this makes it nice because some people go through it first, while, and then when other people are bumpy, those people can help them. They can, you know, give some assistance for it. There's going to be more because in April we have a Grand Cardinal Cross, and that's, that's the real tucking in of all these energies. So this is um, for any of the masculine, be you heterosexual, 
lesbian masculine who is holding and please don't pretend it doesn't exist a lot of you know lesbians and you could look at them and say yes they're holding masculine energy just like you can look at a gay male and say yes he's holding masculine energy or he's holding feminine energy it doesn't diminish who they are I mean let's you know take the glasses off and really acknowledge you know that yeah it, it exists here it exists and there are gay and lesbian twin flames as well as heterosexual. Now, part of the reason there's so many heterosexuals here on this planet is um, it's part of that bell-shaped curve, but we're also pulling, pulling that up, okay? Meaning that electric masculine with the magnetic feminine, there's a lot. He's been holding up things, okay? And... Now it's his time to not just let go, but make sure that everything is stabilized. A lot of people who went through parts of their awakening and did a lot of things to prepare for your union last year. Guess who was holding steady? Guess who was holding uh, things stable and letting them go while you were looking and saying, but that person isn't getting it, but that person, they don't, they don't have a clue. I think I'll just throw this article at his head. No, no, they are getting their messages. Please, this, these are the things you need to trust. Trust that your counterpart's getting his messages. Trust that, yes, coming in like the white knight. Trust it, yeah, you two are going to have to work some things out and adjust to each other. But with the major blockages and walls gone, you know, things like belief systems. I mean, it, at one time in the Middle Ages, it was believed that if you took a bath or went swimming in open water, you would get sick. And while that might have been true for people, they might have gotten tetanus or something, um, you also had a lot of dirty people in the bubonic plague going on. There were people that um, believed that the earth was flat, you know, it's round. There, there's a lot of beliefs that are being collapsed out of people's heads so that they can get along and be together. And um, I want to just uh, show you some of my other, uh, this was another message I got from the universe. Experience the romance. These things just show up. This was uh, from a travel uh, agent by my house. But when I get these and I, and I look at them and I'm going, whoa, we're heading for the romance. That's how I take it. I hope that you're really doing a good job of allowing the universe to love you back, to receive your messages of encouragement. These symbolics are not there to play a cosmic joke on you. These are encouragement for you. This is the universe loving you back and saying, yeah, keep going. We know you're running a marathon. Here, look, this you're on the right track. And the last thing I'm going to say here, this is, uh, this is something about the masculine. This portal that opened and the very transparent divine masculine energy. Now, a lot of you will begin feeling the men a lot more. Men, or it could be a woman who has masculine energy. Because the vibe is vibing out of their heart. They're integrating more parts of themselves. And there are a lot of soulmates meeting. And if you're a, if you're a twin flame and you know you're a twin flame, but you take up with a soulmate for comfort, for sex, for any reason, um, some of it's financial, some of it's security. I want, you to, I want you to really consider something here. Do you want to continue washing that person's underpants? Or do you want to wash your twin flame's underpants? You know, this, this was, uh, I would say, this was a little funny that I really wanted to um, have. I try to have a sense of humor for you so that you know you are not alone. You're not the only one. You're not crazy. Um, there is a lot. There's a lot going on. A lot of people, I know you're starving for affection, for touch. And, and yet there's a sequence to this. And the sequence doesn't make sense from a human standpoint. But when you look back and you say, okay, if... If that person was holding steady all last year and they had sort of the shell on them and they didn't quite understand, but 
I was able to do this and this. I was able to go to yoga and I was able to go to a meditation and blah. And some of that stuff, you're you're literally going to outgrow it. And and now it's it's the turn of the masculine. It's the masculine's turn. So decide if you are going to continue to be a little bit patient a little bit longer um, because this March equinox, the uh, solar eclipse is happening exactly on the March equinox. And in the northern hemisphere, that's spring. In the summer hemisphere, they've already uh, gone into autumn. And the weather's changing. This is, this is the way it works. Okay, it's not just bringing it to equal light and dark. You're equalizing the masculine and the feminine energies. That's what it is. And for people that follow astrology, you may know that this is um, Pluto, Uranus, square, and forgive me if I'm not getting it right. Because I feel these things so much on my body, it's, it's really apparent to me that what it amounts to is... We're concluding the holding steady part and we're pulling in right to here, right here, right here on planet Earth in order to do this and start being. Trust that your counterpart, whether it's a twin flame, whether it's a divine counterpart, is here to be. And also, those soulmates that you meet that are very comfy and lovey and, you know, they're lovely, they're fun. And part of the reason that it's, you know, being with a soulmate who is really sweet is it's not that the love isn't there. The breakups are really painful because for twin flames, we invest our heart. Our heart gets involved. We can't help it. And the breakups are painfully terrible. They just are. Breaking up is never easy. And so, you know, if you, if you don't begin with someone else and you hold for your twin most of you will um, find that your twin has mirrored you because not a lot is going to work out for the men that are going this year and I'm both happy and you know it's never good news to say well I'm sorry some things just are really not going to work out for you you're not going to have things go but wait the universe is about to open some doors on the equinox the promotion you wanted, you're going to find that there's something even better. But it requires you just being patient a little bit longer. Take good care of yourself. Patience, kindness, no more bickering. You know, when you do not know what to do, let nature be your ally. And, you know, the what I got a really good message yesterday. My son woke up with some spider bites. He had four spider bites. This happened once before after some flooding about a year ago. And so I decided to look up the meaning of the spider again. And for some people it's dark, but you're bringing things out of the shadows. And this is some of what we're doing. You're also, what does a spider do? weaving you're weaving new webs of life that is what we're doing the a lot of the movements of the masculine has been what has been uh weaving that on the inside and out in the universe and the outward impulse you know you're gonna blast it right open so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you continue on here. Thank you so much for a lot of you who are just, you know, plugging away and keeping going even when you don't see it. Because I will say this, I have had a lot more people coming together, reporting that they are getting together, um, making it work. I mean, physical living, especially with kids, it's not easy, especially when those kids themselves start needing some help. So the, if, you're, if you're not yet with your twin, if you have kids, my best advice is start getting the kids aligned with your union because their little spirits are already doing it. All right. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. I will have some more to come. And I Gonna, I mean, actually have two webinars in the works with a lot more information than I'm, I'm putting in here. All right. Have a good day. Bye now.